Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix on the new EA app how to get your games to run properly. Uh, they went from Origin to this new EA Play slash app, and it's a lot of problems. I was having issues getting my game to work. I was worried about my save games and other things. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, so as most of you know, the uh, Origin app is gone and they are forcing you to come over to this new EA app or EA Plays. Uh, you have the EA Play service, the Play Pro. They have your games that you've purchased uh, regularly and all that in your library. Um, I, uh, on the EA Play Pro edition, especially if you're downloading these games and you're subscribed to their service, um, if you're trying to get your games to work, I was having a huge issue uh, getting them getting them to boot. I just wouldn't, wouldn't launch at all. The game would just crash. Dead Space would crash. So um, what I actually did was going to um, manage and then view uh, properties. And it'll show you where, you know, you installed the game. You go to browse. It'll bring up your file explorer. These are automatically running uh, as admin. And for some reason, the EA Play Pro app doesn't like it or it won't let the app launch. I was getting the error where it would say, and actually, I'm going to show you right now. Let's just do it. It was uh, it was on the run it administrator, and it was turned on by default. And when I try to launch the game, it would say connecting to EA app. Dead Space is already running. Go ahead and start playing. Or um, it would say... Um, we're having an error on our end and, uh, we apologize. Try again in a few minutes and it just wouldn't work. So what you want to do is go back into there. You want to make sure that the under compatibility tab, the run as administrator button is not checked. Uh, make sure it's also not running in the background. You can, you can right click on your taskbar, uh, go to task manager, then details tab, uh, and make sure it's not stuck anywhere. Like I actually have one stuck here. We're going to end the task. <clears throat> Make sure it's not stuck in the background. Um, and just for reference, I want to show you one more time uh, one of the other errors. We're going to turn we're going to turn back on run as admin again real quick under the compatibility tab. Uh, apply, okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna try to just run the game, right? Let's just play it. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna crash and tell you that it's not unable to. So you can hear it's not opening. You can see it's having a problem. Eventually it airs out. Your game failed to launch. Error on our end causes your launch to fail. Try again later. So go into manage. Go into properties, browse, properties on the EXE, go to compatibility, uncheck that, hit apply, hit OK, close that, close that, hit play. Now the game will launch and now you won't have any issues when you're playing a lot of your EA Play Pro app games or any of your games in the new EA app. I don't know why they're pushing it and, and making this mistake. I hope this video helped you out. Get your games to launch, as you can see behind me. I'm Drake Array to help the gaming community. Appreciate you all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.